And for my next trick, I will make money disappear. Easier than it looks, number 14, total internal reflection. For this experiment, I'm going to show you a disappearing act with the help of just a coin and a glass of water. Here we have one coin. We simply take a glass, stick it over the top. To make the coin disappear, we add a bit of water. And hey presto. The question is, why does the coin disappear? If you look at it from the top, you can see that the coin is still there. But when you look at it from the side, the coin isn't visible. When there's no water in the glass, light from the coin travels through the glass to our eyes at a particular angle. When water's added, the light from the coin hits the inside of the glass at an angle that's greater than what is known as the critical angle. Once this happens, all the light from the coin is totally internally reflected. And it can only escape through the top of the glass. Here's another cool trick that uses total internal reflection. Here, I've created a stream of water by making a hole in this bottle. And what I've got to do is, if I sign the laser in the right place, the laser hits the opening of the hole and it travels down the actual beam of water. The light is being totally internally reflected and trapped within the water. Lasers used in experiments should always be clamped in position or stable on a bench. This is because they can be dangerous if they shine into anyone's eyes. In this fibre optic lamp, you can see that light enters one end of the fibre just like the light from the laser entering the stream of water. And this is reflected repeatedly until it emerges at the other end. Optical fibres have revolutionised the way we communicate carrying data as pulses of light over incredible distances and creating the information superhighway.